getting all the parts ready now so when the rest of the parts get here we can start to have a bit of a system going and then things can start happening i'm going to have a go at this myself uh i'll Good get on the mechanic you. in um, at the end of it to check that everything's okay and if i hit a snag in the way and and um struggle with something i'll stop and get him in but i'm going to do what i can myself and, and see how i go Bearing in mind, I must say, I am in no way, shape or form uh, an expert on this. I'm a, I'm a carpenter. I don't know what I'm doing. This is like pretty complex for me. So if you've come this far, you are probably interested genuinely in how I'm doing this. Otherwise you would have turned off long ago, I would have, because this is pretty boring stuff for most people. But um, I'm gonna show you how I actually rebuild this, this um, timing case area. Because if, if you've come this far, you probably need to know it yourself. Maybe you've got an engine the same, but uh, this is where we're at at the moment. So this is the, I'll just turn the fridge off because that's a bit of an annoying noise. See, in here is where we had all our problems. These three bolts here wound themselves out and they caused a jam up of some sort where the water pump slides on. This is the water pump here. And this actually slides on like this over there. This little coupling on the end here is what engages with that. So we've got a new water pump as well and we've got a new plate for this. This here which has been fabricated up, they don't make them anymore but luckily we found a company that actually fabricated ones off normal engines and punched the hole in it for seawater use. Actually the hole's up here for the seawater use so they, it's basically, you can still get them but this bit's filled in. So the marinized version has got this hole stamped in which we had to pay to get the guys at the um, shop to do. They actually fabricated that hole in these bolt holes so we can use it on ours. Basically I've got this inside ring which is like a big just bracket really located. And then this here is what, this is the seawater adapter pump. Um, the seawater adapter plate. This is very important that you have it centered perfectly before you tighten these bolts up. And if you don't do it perfectly, um, it causes this to, to spin wrong. And it, that's the whole cause of our problems really. So that needs to be lined up absolutely perfectly before we um, tighten these nuts up with the water pump on them. So we've got to get, this is the important bit. We've got to get this right. And um, it's gonna take a bit of time to get everything set up and do a few dry runs and just make sure everything's gonna to go together properly. Because once I start doing this job, I'll have gas concealant going off and I'll need to, I'll need to um, seal the gaskets, assemble them and do them all in one hit. And then at the very end, you nip all the bolts up. When it comes to getting this gasket here on, this is where I wanna get a good seal because it was leaking the old one. Um, so we'll replace the gasket with some silicon sealer around here. I've cleaned up the, the mating surface on the engine for it to go onto. And um, I'll give that a little rub with some sandpaper and clean it with acetate before I put the, the silicon on it for the, um, it's actually a high temp gasket sealer. Um, but that must be spotlessly clean. So you clean it up, sandpaper it up, acetone it, sand it again if you want. Just there can't be any anything from your fingers on it, it won't stick and you'll get oil leaks again, so. We need to reassemble this. I've oiled, I've put a bit of oil on these gears just to stop them binding up. I know that they're, um, it should be sweet once we get the engine started. Oil should start flowing through here, but I don't want any, yeah, you want to make sure there's plenty of um, oil on them. This plate here is keyed, and I wasn't sure what this was at first, but that's the gear as it is. So I discovered, because I didn't actually take this off, a mechanic took it off. So this actually, I am assuming, goes in here because it can't go anywhere else. Um, it won't go the other way because it's stopped by the thing. And, it, and if it wasn't supposed to go in, it wouldn't have that, that little slot out of it. So I worked it out that this has to go here. 
This is our main pulley shaft. Uh, this will go, it's got a key in it up the top there, you can see. That key slides over the top of that. Once a timing case goes on, and then there's a bolt that goes through there, and the bolt is quite large, and that's the bolt we had problems with in the first place. This one here, we couldn't get this one off, so the next step is the timing timing cover goes on. Everything goes back together. You nip things up just a little bit at first when the silicon is um, not, not set. Uh, just a bit above finger tight, I reckon. Here's where all the cables are. All these cables here are the earth for the engine and the battery and so forth. They actually sparked a little bit when I started the generator the other day. So, so these here go back to there. I've just put that side there. This here is a vent for your radiator. That'll drip out any, any water if you've got too much in there. I need to be careful when I fill that back up because um, you can get an airlock in there, I believe. And when the water drains out of this pipe, this is actually a pipe, when it drains out of there, it um, when you fill it back up, it's it's likely that you can get an airlock somewhere where the air's trapped and it can't get out. So I'm going to have to do my homework on that before I try to restart it. But for now, the timing plate's going to go on, the silicon gasket's going to get glued up, uh, and we're going to start putting it all back together. Uh, if this works, I'm going to have a couple of beers at the end of the day, but it's probably a two-day job. I'm going to set it all tonight. And I won't try and start the engine until probably tomorrow when I put everything else back together. Look how shiny and new she is. Look at those fittings. You did this? Look mm. at that alignment. I didn't build them. I just put them So you, the alignment tool worked well. Perfect. I wouldn't have done it without it. I wish I had diesel mechanic flowing through my veins and Beef could attempt to make bread and keep track of all the food, but this is, this is life for him. We've got a vlog that doesn't make, generate any income and he's slaving not making any income because we work for the Dawn. <laughs> but that's just how it is. Full-time employees of the Dawn. Full-time employees of the Dawn. Just make our paychecks out to Don punch Quixote. Punching at eight, punch out at five. Punching at eight, punch out at five. Hey, is there an echo around here? Is there an echo? <laughs> Let it be known that no matter what happens, I'm proud of you. You oh, work so hard. I'm and so scared. Yeah. You're so I'm so capable. scared of this right now, starting this engine. I'm proud of what you've learned. Should we do it? I Let's think so. It. I think so, yeah. I am so freaking scared right now of this engine. We're going to try and start it. I don't know what's going to happen. <sighs> okay, babe, let's do it. <laughs> try again. Yep. She doesn't sound happy, but she is running. Huh? Shut it down. Yep. Well, I think the, the timing's out, like my original fear was. But the engine is did start. It did run. It's blowing smoke. But hopefully that's just the timing adjustment. I'm hoping I'd have to pull everything apart to do that timing adjustment. They might be able to do it from the fuel pump, but I don't know. But we got it started. Yeah, I need to do some Good more work, and beef. homework on that and just find out exactly why that's happening. But we'll get the mechanic out tomorrow, but it is starting, which is better than what She it doesn't was. sound happy though, eh? Nah, she's not. She's happier than what it was, but I just think the timing's out and um, that's, she's not getting fuel delivered yeah, at the right a, time. Yeah, it's just a fuel delivery thing. Like when the timing, it just the timing controls the release of fuel into the um, the fuel pump. So why is the exhaust smoking so much? Do you think? Oh, because if the fuel's not burning efficiently, it'll 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 smoke. Okay. Um, or if the rings are damaged or anything, there's a whole lot of causes for that. But oil pressure was good. Yeah, it would have been hard to tell that until the motor really got up to the temperature and things okay, and, and well pressure. It... But yeah, that's a good sign. Um, yeah, we'll have to see how we go. Oh, now now he's got another. He's got a mechanic coming to help him with the carburetor and the outboard or whatever the hell's the problem the with our other engine for the dinghy. So and yeah. I've got to go. I'm gonna go to shore. 
and it's definitely I don't want to see his face in an engine anymore there's um there's more to life than working on your engines that's for sure what you cooking my love your favorite what are they this is my favorite Rizzo. family wrestle Rizzo's family. love yeah it's Rizzo's love <laughs> Salmon rizzles, canned green beans. You're going to see what this crap actually tastes like, so you stop buying it. Jeez, you're looking beautiful tonight. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> and yeah, we're pretty happy. We're about to leave here, so we're having a couple of good feeds and a couple of nice night sleeps, and then we'll get ready for a maybe potentially a couple of days of not much sleep. So yeah. rest up. We've got an adventure ahead of us. Yes. Don Quixote's Last ready. Last big passage. Yeah. Stay right. tuned. Dinner's ready.